Hello everyone, welcome back to Lawrence Place Factorio Angel Bobs, where as usual I'm having a sh massive shortage of sulphur. However, I've just had a bit of a breakthrough here from having a flick through FNEI, and it turns out there's a relatively simple recipe here where if I combine coal, steam and oxygen, all of which I can make very very easily in a advanced chemical plant apparently, which I think I can probably make. Then I can produce synthesis gas which turns it easily into solid fuel, carbon dioxide which you know you blow off into, into the atmosphere, global warming, all that sort of stuff, and then hydrogen sulfide gas which combined with still more oxygen allows you to produce sulfur. So that sounds like something that's suitable to do up here in my um, chemical plant area because the, the synthesis gas will get used up by these machines, well one of these machines here I think, this one in fact this chemical plant and the oxygen can come from down here I might need to rebuild some more of these <laughs> air filters that, that's not a problem though I can do that and then the sulfur can be piped out down here and there's coal so that seems like quite a good way to start this episode off because as you might have noticed from the, right at the beginning the um, artillery shell production down here has stopped completely because there's no sulfur coming in and there's been a problem for quite a while now with a lack of batteries coming in due to a lack of uh, sulfuric acid being produced and I can do that from sulfur and I think I am somewhere just fix a couple of things while I spot them um I think I'm doing that somewhere I can't remember if, if not I, I can start doing it anyway so that's, that's not a problem once I have a decent supply of sulfur coming in which will be across one of these belts am I making sulfuric acid from it anywhere no although I am using it for um science packs as well so it's definitely important to get lots of that coming through and I can, I'll can, i set up a sulfuric acid plant as well, that's, that, that's fine, that's not a problem. Why are there all these construction bottles flitting around? I don't remember doing any construction recently. <laughs> okay, let's um, stop talking about it and actually get on and do it. So I need to investigate this technology, which is easy enough because it doesn't, doesn't have any prereqs that I don't have. And then head up north and start doing some building. I have a slight concern as to whether I can actually build advanced chemical plants. Yes, I have got that built, that researched. Do I have the technology, do I have the stuff to build one, that's the question. No, I need steel. Let's do that before I go. One thing I would quite like to do, but I'm not really, I haven't really thought of what the best way to do it is, is to find a way of, is that steel? Yes it is. Is find a way of restocking my um, construction vehicle with the basic materials, things like iron and steel and circuit boards and so on. It's fairly straightforward from um, a logistics point of view. I can I can summon things like steel using this system. In fact, there doesn't seem to be any real limit on how much I can do. H however, however, there's a um, a bit of a problem in that I can't do that. I can't summon stuff logistically to the um, to the logistics construction to the construction vehicle itself because it doesn't have logistic summoning powers. Basically, yeah. Now I'm out of iron. So you see what I mean? I keep that's not iron. That's not iron. <laughs> I keep running out of everything I need. And I'm, I'm no longer um, confident that the construction vehicle will have the huge supplies of it that I, I I'm used to it having because I've just burnt through them all from building lots of stuff. What's going on here? Why are these Why are these bots? Go oh, if I if I demolished something up here. Ah, uh, yes, that's what it was. I demolished the um, Bobmonium processing facility. Okay, mystery solved. I'm happy now. Also, the they're trying to bring me an enormous number of rails. Let's cut that down a bit. Oh, I keep not clicking on the tick properly, and so it doesn't save the settings I've just made. Right, let's go and play with chemistry. In fact, on the way past, I'm going to put up an air filter as well, because I feel I should replace the one I drove over earlier. There we go. Especially as I'm going to start using the oxygen from it. Okay. So, what was that recipe again? Coal and steam and oxygen. Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, now, a lot of these things are sort of on my fluids bus. So here's steam down here. Oh, is it that one? No. All right, what's it called? <laughs> So this part, combining these to make the sulphur, can be done in a normal uh, chemical plant. So that's not that's that's easy. This one is called I don't know what it's called. Anyway, synthesis gas, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulphide. Let's see if that's enough to find it. It's probably one of these. It doesn't tell me what the recipe's called. That makes it very hard to find it. it must be one of these. That's the one. Found it at last. Okay, so we take steam input here. Oh, and we run into that pipe. <laughs> There's too much going on around here. Here yeah, seems safe. Right, so that's my... Im oh no, and he's coal as well. Mm -mm, spaghetti. And on the other side... Oh, I'm running out of space to pump, push fluids through here. Okay, so we want to take the synthesis gas away. You need your residual. Your synthesis. Oh... Mm. <laughs> This is horrible. 
Where is that pipe plan as Here it is. This used to be so neat and organized and tidy. <laughs> oh no. Right. Do I have any actual that carbon dioxide, isn't it? Yes, carbon dioxide. Do I have any use for carbon dioxide? Or am I just blowing it all off? This... I mean, I know I do somewhere about miles away where I'm doing the metal smelting and stuff, but I'm not tracking it all the way down there. No, okay, flare stack it is then. Oh, my have stone bricks, goodness sake. What? My construction vehicle is out of stone bricks as well. How is that even possible? I've got a little bit of raw stone. I could cook that up, I suppose. <sighs> oh, goodness sake. Oh, I do have some flare stacks, though. That makes that a bit easier. Put that in there. Actually, let's put that in there. And then this one is the sulfur dioxide that I then combine with... Hydro sorry, it's hydrogen sulfide that I combine with oxygen from here or here in a case of chemical plant the way to do it I think so I mean okay yes faster chemical plants are faster but a chemical plant is, is good enough let's put in two of these just in case in fact let's put this down downwards because that way if I end up putting in more um, of the advanced uh, chemical plants I'll be able to just copy and paste them straight in above right here we go there's no steam in this pipe why is there no steam in this pipe I've forgotten a corner that's why there's no steam in this pipe Okay, so this arrangement here essentially pulls the sulphur out of the coal and spits it out on this belt and burns off some carbon and produces some gas and stuff that I can use for other things as well. So, bonus there. Uh, that's going to get me more fuel coming out of here, which is nice because that wasn't being produced quickly enough. It's going to get me... In fact, I should probably put a, um, a tank on there at some, somewhere. Uh, no, not that sort of tank. That sort of tank. There we do. That'll do. See if that goes up or down now. Um, fairly static. Okay, that's probably a good thing. At some point, they should start producing sulfur. Why are they not? They've not got oxygen, so I've forgotten a pipe down here. There we go. And you can be a... You might as well be a near side inserter. Okie dokie. Let's pass down there. Job done. Um, <laughs> except it's going to get passed around up here in a, in a weird loop. Okay, so that's going up here for... Okay, let's do that, that, and a prior filter, coal, no, just normal coal, regular coal, where's regular coal? Why is there no such thing as coal? Must be in here some. so many things, how are you supposed to find anything when the search doesn't work properly? None of these feel right. What's this? No, this is ores and things. Or there may be, no, no, that's lead ore. Fine, I'll make it filter sulfur the other way then. Not that any of it's going to get passed, it's all going to get fed into here to be made into batteries for this. Ooh, what's even going on here? This is making... This is making, um, plasma cannons. I don't need it to. Oop, no, no, I do need to do that. I don't need to make batteries here anymore, but I do want to carry on making grenades and... Ex oh, and cliff explosives. Yes, that's a useful thing to, be have, to have. That should be the, um, provider chest, really. Not there's much point in making it a provider chest, because it's way outside my, um, logistics... Oh, and it's not outside the logistics network. Excellent. I'm sure I'm making grenades somewhere else, actually. Somewhere up here, maybe? Or is it one of the... I don't know. Let's just leave it making them in two places. <laughs> don't care. Okay, so I've pulled out that thing that was also making the, um, the plasma turrets, because I really don't need that anymore. They're definitely being made elsewhere. And eventually, this will catch up to the point where um, there's enough explosives and grenades and stuff here, because these are all, yeah, they're all quite limited, so they're not going to get too, too carried away. And we're also going to load these up, and eventually there'll be enough for a train. However, the rate it's being produced at the moment is kind of pathetic. So, can I build another advanced chemical plant? No, because I've run out of stone bricks again. I remember in a relatively recent episode, I just got rid of a load of those because they were in um, just taking up space in the ve construction vehicle's inventory. I didn't think I was going to need them. Let's just make some here, because then I can get a second one of these, maybe even a third one of these going. And that'll mean I'll start producing a decent amount of sulfur, because I'm definitely very, very short of sulfur. That was quite efficient. So I want to copy... This is a mess. <laughs> Let's do this again, but better. Right. Copy that. It's still wrong, but I can fix it. Yeah. That's going to have to go there so the fluids don't mix. And again there. Why is this not building? Oh! Oh, bloody hell. So I stole all its um, construction bots to go in the train. <laughs> 
But none of these robo-bots have any construction bots, because why would they? There's not, we've not used any over here. For a... Okay, I'll just have to do it manually. What's going on with the pipes here? Oh, I see. Oh, and I've run out of underground pipes as well, for goodness sake. Which are horrifically expensive in pipes, but... Oh well. And I've not left enough... Oh my god. Why is everything so bad? Well, I can't see what's going on behind that flare stack. Are they linked? I think they are. Is that all hooked up correctly? I think it might be. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh no, these inputs aren't right. Are they? No, these aren't. Oh, inserters. <coughs> now have we got it right? Yes, they've all got green lights on them. Excellent. And these two are going between green and orange because they're not getting the sulfur. Okay, so good. These, these are the limiting factors. And I've built as many as I can. Alright, I can build one more. Alright, let's do one more. If I've got the pipes for it. Now that I've finally got it correct, I can build another one. Right. That's up to my sulfur production a bit. Looks like we've even got to the stage where there's more than is more than enough for the speed this um, explosive construction is going at as well. That's good. Um, we're also absolutely annihilating the uh, coal supply coming through, coming along this belt. But oh well, is that a problem? I don't think it's a big problem. Oh, I should get rid of this. We don't want to be loading coal into the trains too much longer. I am starting to think that this half belt that's feeding coal to the entire factory is perhaps not quite enough, especially when this one is using up as much as it can get. I mean, nowhere is being starved yet, technically, but it's it feels like I'm pulling a lot through, let's put it that way. If we find the source of this belt, it's here somewhere. Here we go. Yeah, it's being fed by half a grey belt. That's, to be honest with you, I am absolutely astonished that that half a grey belt is supplying coal to essentially the entire factory apart from power generation. That's amazing. That explains why it looks so gappy along here actually. Because it's half a grey belt being fed onto a yellow belt so it's only half filling it. Hindsight, I should have put this further down but this is almost full now so I don't think it really matters. Okay, this is getting starved by something other than, other than coal supply anyway so I think that means it's alright. What are you getting starved by? You're not, you're full of carbon dioxide. But yes, I've missed a pipe out. There we go. <laughs> uh, it's noisy over here. Right, let's do that so it doesn't happen again. Right. I don't know if that's actually going to be enough sulphur. We'll find out when a train comes and picks it up and takes it away and brings some more back. So there's 7,000 there now. Um, up from... I can't remember what it was on before. Was it about three or four thousand maybe so that's in the time I've been messing around with that it's doubled the amount of sulfur that I've produced in this in the whole last I don't know how long because that hasn't had a train for ages I should probably actually have something that deactivates this if these get too full because having the using up this taking the sulfur away is important for these machines to make sure that I can't remember exactly how but somehow it's related to the plastic production so let's put in some wires to deal with that. There, take a red wire from here, like that. And I want you to be enabled if sulfur is less than 20,000? 30,000. How much room is there in these chests? So at the moment we've got 7,000. I can, yeah, I can make them more like 50. And that will. So the idea of that is, if these chests start to get a bit too full, then this this belt will turn off here, causing the sulphur production to back up, and reserving the remaining space in these chests for the sulphur that comes out of these uh, hydro plants. Right, that should work nicely. I mean, I always say that, but in this case, I think it might be true. I am quite tempted to summon a train actually and just pick up that 7,000 sulphur and take it to the sulphur drop here because it doesn't matter if it's not full um, just having some over there will allow stuff to get working running again so let's take a train uh, we need to go to sulphur why have I got two? which one is this? this is just sulphur pickup okay sit there for maybe a minute take it to sulphur drop 
That is empty. And then you can go back to the depot. That's fine. This is going to be tight. That 60 seconds might not quite be enough. I really need to put um, upgrading my stack inserters on my to do. Well, it's on my to do list. I need to bump it up there a few steps and actually try and get that done. Um, that and blue circuits are, are my sort of things that have been lingering in my head for a while and uh, I want to try and get done as soon as I can. That isn't going to finish in time. Right. Go. <laughs> That's such a short distance it takes it. It's absolutely ridiculous. Of course I built it up like that with the idea that um, in the future I'll be taking sulfur a bit further than that or I might have it coming in from somewhere else but even so it's a ridiculously short distance to take stuff. <laughs> Maybe I should just fit a belt going across there. Right, so now we have actually have sulphur in the factory for the first time in goodness knows how long. I keep thinking there's a broken belt in here, but no, it's not. It's just changing colour. Um, I mean, I don't mean broken. I'm, yeah, I do mean broken. Like it's it's full of stuff up to here, and then for some reason it's not getting any further. But there's supposed to be something on this. Oh yes, this was the the metal um, things I was thinking about earlier. Has that become a problem yet? Probably. Yes, I'm no longer making tinned wires. Okay, that's something I should sort out. But I think I'll save that until the next episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching, let me know how you think it's going in the comments, and I hope to see you next time.